What's up guys, it's AlecMac111 and today I have a review and unboxing from Airsoft Peak. So as most of you know, I run a Cry JPC and a lot of you are asking me questions, hey AlecMac111, what is a good plate carrier that I can get for low value because I don't have $300 to spend in a real Cry? Well, thankfully, because of Airsoft Peak sending me this and the desire that I've had for these and also a lot of friends that have gotten lower budget ones of these, I'm going to be doing a review of the Emerson JPC replica. So this is exactly like mine. It's actually in a different color. This is um, multicam black. I don't know exactly what Airsoft Peak calls it. I will have the link in the description if you want to go buy one or look at the different colors of ones as well. Um, we're going to go over it and I'm going to have Sure Shot Midget come over here and show you his that is actually a year and a half old. So I've had a few friends that have actually run these Emerson JPCs and uh, I'm just going to go over. So there's, there are some things with lower budget play carriers. There are some things that are problems um, and there are things that can kind of go wrong and it's a problem just when you don't have as high quality stuff. Um, but starting in the top, they have um, these nice low profile play care, these plate pads. Um, the JBC is so light, like this is so light. My real one is super light. This is even lighter because it's made out of less high quality materials, obviously, because it's around 100 bucks or cheaper than that. Um, the multi cam black pattern is cool. So you have Molly on the front, Molly as well in the back, and on the front you actually have an admin pouch. So on the top up here, you have an admin pouch. And in there you can carry stuff like markers and stuff, and they actually have some rubber band things in there. I actually carry pistol mag pouches in mine, and it fixed a single stack 1911 beautifully. And so I'll run like two mags in there when I have my Elite Force 1911 tactical as well. You can see Sure Shot Midget's got his plethora of patches on there with his Brill and his Speed Soft, um, and also his Skull Frog. Um, they have the Emerson logo on here. It's actually pretty cool because they include the fake plates with these. So I don't know exactly how much I like these. What I've done with mine, I actually got foam insert plates. I ended up wrapping it with cardboard and I wrapped it in two layers of duct tape so it's waterproof. And so the corners of these, like it's great that they include these, but the corners of these can kind of tend to dig in once you put them in, once you put them in the plate bags, it can kind of tend to dig in and it isn't something that's like super great. Um, it's kind of just harder to use them and it's, and it's just like, it just, cause sometimes if you're laying prone and like moving forward prone wise, you can kind of like just get hurt a little bit. Um, one of the biggest things that I love about the JPC is the built in mag pouch in the front. These are awesome. It also offers molly over top of it. So the molly over top of it is wonderful. The molly that you can actually put, I have a Blue Force Gear Triple on here. Sure Shot Midget has a Phantom Gear Triple on there. So you can run six mags on the front of you alone. And I end up having a, on my Cumberbund on my right side, I have another two mags. So that's eight mags just right there and one in my gun. Like nine mags is a lot for a Milsim game and enough for me usually to be all right. And sometimes I'll carry some mags in my map pack as well. And that's super cool because on the back of this, you have a ton of Molly space as well. You have a ton of Molly real estate. So you're just able to use, utilize a lot of things. Um, you're also able to adjust the size of the cummerbund, um, and it's just pretty cool. The they said it says genuine multicam pattern. This isn't really genuine multicam. Obviously, it's not terrible. Like it's it's actually pretty close to what the multicam pattern looks like. But you can just tell the material is a little bit less quality wise. Um, Warrior actually ran one of these a while ago, and then Jared, as you can tell, has been beat up pretty well. Um, something that kind of happens is the stitching on this area right above these can kind of tend to come out and it's coming out a little bit, um, but it's nothing that's a super big deal. And like I said, this is after a year and a half of like heavy, heavy gameplay that he has abused this. Um, and then sometimes the Velcro on the, the, this is the Velcro is a little bit less like sticky after a year and a half of using it, but thankfully this still goes across, so you might have to add some other stuff. But as far as a low budget plate carrier goes, man, I don't know if I can recommend any other thing. I like chest rigs and stuff, but I'm really a proponent of plate carriers and I'm really a proponent of like lightweight plate carriers because I love my JVC. I love the setup. It's beautiful. I love how lightweight the straps are because the straps are so lightweight. You don't have much padding up here. You can actually get, these are HSGI shoulder pads as well that go over them. I got them for really cheap, but honestly, the stock ones like work really fine unless you're carrying a lot of weight. I just started carrying a lot of weight once I started playing Milson games, so I wanted something that kind of spread the weight out more evenly, which is why I got the HSGI shoulder, shoulder pads. They also have Pig shoulder pads, which are good ones. There's a lot of different brands, uh, but I highly recommend this plate carrier. I think it's a great low-budget alternative for those of you um, that need a cheaper one. You can actually find these some sometimes. I think there's different versions there, Soft Peak, depending on the camouflage, as low as $70. 
I don't know exactly how much this specific model is. I think this one was like 90, um, but I think the different colors, this is like multi-cam black, so this is like a really desirable color. So it is um, black. And then the fact that it comes with these, when I first bought my, I think, I don't know if I ever had an Emerson one, but I think I actually did have an Emerson one for a little while, but I had to buy these plates separate and each of the plates were like 12 bucks a piece. So that's an extra 24 and that comes with them, um, which is absolutely an awesome deal. Hopefully this helped you guys. This is more for those newer review players that maybe are looking for a good plate carrier. Um, in my opinion, this is the best value plate carrier while still giving you a ton of real estate and a ton of things that you can use. It's made of pretty high quality. The stitching could be better, but obviously it's made in China. It's a little bit cheaper than this. And this, I mean, like this is a $350 retail plate carrier. And sometimes you can't get it for months because of back order. You can obviously buy them on eBay, but this is very expensive and very high quality. And for a third of the price, this is definitely worth a third of the value in my opinion. Um, but for me, because I play so much and I've had this plate carrier for five years, I eventually paid it off. But I love how cheap this is and how great this is. Thanks for watching this video, guys. This has been Alec Mac 101, and I'll see you guys later.